Hi, it's Darla here again on another little episode of my mini series of aromatherapy, 10 essential oils you should have in your home. And today we're gonna to discuss rosemary and its properties and all the good things about it, a little history on that. So let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, a little history on rosemary. It's a native to the dry, rocky areas of the Mediterranean, especially along the coastline. And the name comes from the Latin word, which translates to the dew of the sea. Rosemary has been used since the time of the early Greeks and Romans, and Greek scholars often wore a garland of the herb on their heads to help memory during examinations. In the 9th century, Charlemagne insisted that his royal garden had rosemary, and the cologne that Napoleon wore was made with rosemary. The herb was also the subject of many poems and was mentioned in five of Shakespeare's plays. So it's been around and people knew about it. They, and it was highly regarded as a great herb. A sprig of rosemary was often placed in the hands of the deceased at a funeral because it is a symbol of remembrance. And brides often wore rosemary at their weddings because it also was a symbol of happiness, loyalty, and love. Now, legend has it that rosemary originally had white flowers, and which were changed to blue ones when the Virgin Mary placed her blue cloak upon it while re resting during her flight from flight to Egypt. I'm getting tongue-tied here. That's how they say the flowers turn, because the Virgin Mary put her cloak on there. It was cultivated for over 6,000 years, and rosemary plant history is understandably steeped in legend, myth, and folklore. Because It's been around a long time, so I'm sure there's a lot of stories about it. The history of rosemary has been used medically dating back to ancient Greeks and Romans in 500 BC. Now, dried sprigs of rosemary even showed up in Egyptians' uh, tombs from 3000 BC. So it's been used for a long time. Some of, they were also, they wrote, a, a lot of the poets at the time wrote stories about it. And they also did the gold standard about the use and identification of medical herbs for 1,400 years, and rosemary was uh, added to that. Rosemary was cultivated by the St Spanish in the 13th century, where it became a popular condiment for salted meats from the 15th to 16th, 18th century. Okay, actually, it was used probably more as a disguise because the meat was probably rotted. <laughs> they, you know, they had no refrigerations back in those days. So when they served meat or they had it in the back, you know, some chickens cut up, they couldn't refrigerate it. And so sometimes it started getting rotten. So they would put rosemary <laughs> to disguise that. So they think that's a lot of people used to more as a disguise than as a condiment. Even though now today we use rosemary to, you know, put on our food, especially steaks, you know, it's good for beef. Okay, rosemary has been used throughout known history <clears throat> and it appears in, in all the herbals list and has been long recognized as a plant that can enhance memory. Like I said, it was used in weddings and funerals in Europe, and it was also thrown in the, when a person went to jail, they threw some in there to fight jail fever, you know, 
You have all those people just thrown in jail together, so they threw that in there, so it would try to stop that. It's a very stimulating, having an effect on the physical body and the mind that makes rosemary energizing when facing an exhausting, mentally challenging day or physically stressful one. So to keep in mind, you know, you're out shopping, you've got a stressed, stressful day, you're running around all day, you know, doing Christmas shopping. Rosemary will help help you get through that. It'll help you have, you know, a clear mind so you can, what do I want to say, attack all these, you know, challenges that you have that are stressful. If you're doing a lot of physical stuff, maybe you're moving, you know, you got to move and, you know, you always got to clean and so Rosemary will help you get through that. You know, we still have to go through stuff in our life, but you know, uh, I'm just trying to enlighten people about aromatherapy because I believe in it strongly and I think that we all can benefit by natural herbs in our life. All right, I think that concludes our episode today on rosemary, the properties and the history of it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, you know, to help me out. Subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that notification button and you'll get notified when I upload another one. I know you guys are waiting for all the other ones to come online. So we got about, I think, three more after this one. So yeah, thanks for jumping on my YouTube. And thanks for all the support everybody's given me. And so I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. All right, I'm gonna put on my glasses. I know, it just, but I have to, to read because, you know, as we age, our eyes age too. So the herb, the herb. That's Herb is that little beetle that had the movie, wasn't it? Oh. Bye.